The signs are up at businesses across the area. Masks required or vaccination required. Businesses get to choose as of today. Those are the rules for the rest of the year across the metro area, with the exception of Douglas County, where Republican commissioners fired the public health experts. Now, the easy way to flash your vaccination card to enter, say, a brewery is the My Colorado app. At least should be easy, but our Marshall Zellinger still working out the bugs. It's a tale as old as a decade. Apple versus Android. On an iPhone, the My Colorado app has a 4.7 rating. On an Android, 1.8. Uh, I would give it a 4.3. Russell Castanero is the state's director of digital transformation. In today's terms, that's turning your physical vaccination card into a virtual version. Essentially, the cardboard vaccine card that the CDC came up with um, is e very, very easy to fake. It's not really particularly legible. If you lose it, it's not easy to get another one. There is a vaccine card on the app, right, that you can see. So that is, but at least it's printed. It's human readable, all of that. It's really no different than taking a picture of your card, except instead of scrolling through photos to find it, dog, dog, wife, wife and dog, it's there on the app. According to the state, 3,300 people used the app yesterday to access their vaccine cards. Quite often we have, uh, you know, 50, 60 requests per second coming to our servers. To use the app in the first place, you need to let it scan your driver's license to create an account. Then, if you want to use the app for your vaccine record, you have to take a selfie, I mean a selfie, and you cannot skip this step. It's a comparison with the DMV photo, that's all. Once you've done that, you should have access to your vaccine card, if you can get in the app at all. For instance, watch what happened this morning when a coworker tried to log in to the iPhone version of the My Colorado app using Face ID. Yeah, that's the face ID loop. All, all your friend has to do is to cover the front facing camera and then it'll say, oh, we couldn't do it. And then they cancel and then log in and then it'll never happen again. Uh, but it is um, irritating. Before the app updated on Android, I ended up in a loop where after typing in my login, it took me back to the login screen, which leads us to Engineering 101, how to fix what appears to be a broken app. Well, uninstall, reinstall, basically gets you to start off fresh. Good old unplug it, plug it back in, turn it off, turn it on. 465,000 users have downloaded the app. I asked if a business can reject the digital version as proof of your vaccination. And under the state public health order on venues larger than 500, it's in the order that the My Colorado app is valid proof. And Kyle, it's also in the Tri-County, except for Douglas, mm -hmm. uh, public health order. And it's in the Jefferson County public health order. I didn't see it explicitly in the Denver public health order. So uh, I've heard people say that the states are laboratories of democracy. Have any of the laboratories of democracy other than ours figured out a way to get their apps to work? I asked why the states in this business, why not contract it out? And and Russell was like, well, I'm sure contractors would love us to contract. It sure. Out. New York spent, he said, 28 to 29 million dollars on a system that's not as polished as ours which has been updated a few times. It works now, it works for me now. Yeah. And if you don't use the face ID thing and you actually, you know, thumb in your username and password. Like in the olden days. Work. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Thank you, Marshall. Happy Thanksgiving. And